you look at how these offenses play out, they keep control of possession, they don't turn the ball over, and they take a lot of time to kind of progress through their reads. The same, Northwestern will look for UCLA to really just attack from the mid-range and from three. Northwestern, they trap in the post. They don't give up anything inside with that compact defense. So I think UCLA are going to have struggle to score a bit here unless Jaime Hawkins just goes ballistic or Tiger Campbell from the mid-range, but it's a highly inefficient shot. So when you look at how these two uh, defenses and offenses stack up against each other, I expect a snail's pace of a game. UCLA, they run through the pick and roll and the mid-range over 40% of the time. The same can be said about Northwestern as well as they love to shoot the three ball, but they're extremely inefficient from the offensive end. And I think UCLA's defense is one of the best that we've seen. And they're very well-rounded. Bona should be back. He was ready to play last game, but they didn't need him against Asheville. So I'm going to take the under here, 127. So it's a low number, but I think it's low for a reason.